Welcome to the beautiful city of Tiruvananthapuram. This city is best known for its unique historical treasures, stunning tropical nature, elephants, good coffee, and of course the fun-loving people you can meet here. Hi, my name is Anina and for the past 10 years I've been traveling around India and in today's vlog we're gonna go over my top favorite things to do in the capital city of Kerala. So when traveling to Kerala, you're most likely to land either directly to Trivandrum or in case you are traveling to the other popular airport which is in Kochi, it's then easy to reach Trivandrum via the new Vande Bharat Express. Vande Bharat is a new train here in India, it's super cozy, it's fully air conditioned and it's faster than the older ones so while you're enjoying your chai and the beautiful scenery, it will take you to the capital city in just around 3 hours. Starting off with number 10 on our list, which is the Trivandrum Zoo. This zoo is one of the oldest of its kind in India and in my experience visiting here feels more like you're roaming around in a tropical forest rather than a zoo. Your tickets will cost around 200 rupees for a foreigner plus a camera fee and if you want to bring your own water to the zoo, you need to pay some extra which you will get back once you return the sticker they place on the bottle. So because the zoo area is so large, about halfway through there is a cute chai shop where you can take a break, you can have some coffee and then continue to explore the rest of the zoo. Number 9 is the Museum Gardens Park and this museum park area is home to the famous Napier Museum and another historical place called the Kanakakundu Palace. When trances, going all to different places, different planets Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance What if we were out of time and second chances? So on top of visiting these beautiful buildings, the whole park area is a great way to discover bits and pieces of the local culture. Here you can meet people having chai, spending time with their friends and there's always something happening at the park, whether it's a concert or some sort of a festival. So if you visit the museum park, then I have something right next door that's called the Keralam Museum of History and Heritage. This is a small but charming museum, it's set in a traditional building and it tells the ancient stories and cultural history of Kerala dating back thousands of years. Number 7 on the list is Villa Maya, which is one of the most unique restaurants in town. Villa Maya has such a tropical but also an elegant feel to it. Outside in the garden there are beautiful water fountains and a giant pond of koi fish and the building itself is a restored 18th century Dutch manor. The food here is obviously so delicious, I recommend also trying out their desserts and of course my personal favorite, the Indian filter coffee. Speaking 
speaking of really good coffee, when in Trivandrum, Costa Coffee is the place where you get some strong and delicious coffee combined with a little air conditioned break from the humid weather that we have out here. So if you are craving for a nice latte or an iced cappuccino, then I suggest you head towards the famous Lulu Mall where you can find Costa Coffee. So Lulu Mall in Trivandrum is considered to be one of the biggest malls in India and if you're into shopping for example all the beautiful Indian clothes and shoes then Lulu Mall is one of the best places to go. The traditional Indian sari is probably not something you want to wear while you're traveling but I would recommend still trying one on if you have the chance because they are just so beautiful. Also if you're gonna go to a wedding or any other celebration while you're here then a sari might just be a great option for you to wear. Number 4 on the list is the beautiful Shangamugam beach. The city of Trivandrum is located on the coast of the Arabian Sea and this beach is a must visit place if you like golden sand beaches. Usually this beach is also not very crowded so it makes it the perfect place to have a sunset walk while you are enjoying the gushing sound of the waves. Ooh, I hear thunder, I hear lightning here wanders and everybody want to go but no one really cares to know Next on the list is Paul's Creamery which is one of Ava's favorite places and where you can find Trivandrum's best cheesecake and chocolate ice cream. So if you are celebrating something or maybe you're traveling with kids then Paul's is going to be the place where you can both have your coffee and enjoy really good desserts. I see titans and some troubles that everybody has to face that no one really can erase. Number two on the list is the famous Sri Padmanabha Swami Temple. So the history of this beautiful temple dates back centuries and it's one of the most eye-catching and mysterious sights I've seen here in India. Recently, there was a hidden treasure worth billions of dollars discovered underneath the temple's secret vaults and since then it's considered to be the richest temple in the world. As the story of this temple goes, some of its remaining secrets and treasures are yet to be discovered. Right next to the temple there is a royal palace formerly known as the Kutira Malika Palace Museum. Kutira Malika translates to the mansion of the horses and visiting this palace and its gardens will give you a glimpse of how the kings of Travancore have lived over the years. So we were only allowed to take pictures and film outside in the garden but if you take a stroll or a guided tour inside the palace you'll get to see the mystical architecture of the building and for example the ancient jewelry once worn by the queens of this land. When you worry, Number one is Kottur Elephant Sanctuary where you have the chance to see these sweet elephants walking about and taking a bath in a lake. The best way to reach Kottur is by car and your tickets will cost around 85 rupees plus a camera fee and also if you start your trip towards Kottur early morning and arrive around 9am then this is when you'll get to see the elephants bathing and having their breakfast. I heard laughter, I heard music, I thought baby there's no way we could ever lose it, there's no way 